Well, hello there. So, Tamashi Nations decided to go off today and announce like a thousand different figures from a bunch of different franchises, both SH figure arts and SH monster arts included, as well as SH uh, Zero arts. I think that's what it was. I forgot what their like statue line is called. But just to kind of start us off, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi for those Star Wars fans, because I know there's a lot of you guys that enjoy Star Wars. Um, not the biggest Star Wars fan myself, but I do enjoy the fights. Uh, but we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, the classic version from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, and we only have a single still image of him so far. And I gotta say, he looks pretty good in this image alone especially with the soft goods that he has for his robe and also his clothing as well so definitely one that uh i might be getting for someone else but not for me specifically so yeah very good over here we do have yet another obi-wan kenobi from uh the uh star wars a new hope this one does have a couple more pictures so again if you would like to get sort of like these for your own collection i think it would be a very good idea it would go very well with the newly released darth vader that came out last month from again a new hope so again both of these figures have been announced but we also have a couple of more figures starting off with one that i did make a short about which was rengoku from the demon slayer line now again we only have a still image yet so far so we don't have much information about him but the next pre-order line is going to be on the 18th of uh november so expect it to be around that time but with how they have been doing the sh figure arts line for the demon slayer series i will expect this figure to be impeccable and amazing so far Especially with, again, with how they've handled it already. And I don't think there's going to be any issues with them. Uh, there are complaints about the actual, like, sort of uh, cape gown that he uses not being cloth, which I definitely do agree. It is a bummer. But hopefully they can do good with him no matter what. And maybe we could have two different types of cloth. One of them kind of, like, set, uh, settle down. And another one where it's more, like action -y pose and active and everything like that so that is not the only demon slayer figure that was announced we also have uh i forgot this guy akasa from mugen train pretty much and one of the upper rank uh demons i forgot their names for some reason but yes we finally have another an actual demon from the series itself one of the upper uh rank three is joining the tamashi nations line which is really nice uh it is still pending licensor approval but with how we saw rengoku this guy is probably not far apart either uh this probably will be the best akasa or uh yeah akasa figure that we have currently i know buzz mod is a really good one but i did hear that the figma one was pretty garbage so hopefully this one is better than both and it'll probably be the more affordable version as well. Um, and it says November 15th to the 17th, but that's going to be in the sort of like Tamashi Nation display that they have going on. But yeah, so far, so good for the Demon Slayer line. Very well done so far with all three of their figures. Uh, but yeah, uh, one that would really did surprise me the most is the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham from across the spider-verse this is technically across the spider-verse versions not specifically from um into the spider-verse and honestly he looks pretty good i know the sentinel uh noir just recently released as well like a couple months ago and that figure seems to be perfect as well but this is going to be sort of my go-to uh one to get my only complaint and that's something i just noticed right now is these sections that they keep adding to like every single spider-man figure don't know why they did this they could have foregone this section right here sort of like the the crotch sections hate them i wish they would get rid of them for future figures don't know why they they're still doing that i hate them on vegeta i hate them on the 
uh, No Way Home Spider-Man. No, not the No Way Home. Yeah, no. Yeah, No Way Home. Yeah. Yeah, No Way Home. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, the No Way Home Spider-Man Red and Blue suit. I hate him, so hopefully they get rid of him in the future. But this is going to be another one that has that. But he looks really good, especially with the soft goods as well. I expect him to be like around $110 perhaps because uh, Peter Parker, um, Peter B. Parker, is like pretty much the exact same with um, May Parker and him with the with the soft goods as well. And he's around $99, so around the same price. For him but we also have more stuff we have this uh back to the future sort of set hopefully they announce like marty and uh the doctor soon something that really caught me off guard was this specifically the harry potter sh figure arts i don't know if they made them in the past i'm not too familiar with their previous um like figure line releases so i'm not sure if they're like they've done them in the past but we do have harry potter and also voldemort from uh harry potter and the goblet of fire i haven't seen any of the harry potter movies besides like probably the first three so i'm like not <laughs> too caught up with it but they look good nonetheless especially voldemort with all that drapey goodness of soft goods love that i wonder if you can get him naked uh but <laughs> besides that continuing the movie trend we do have the lord of the rings as well with uh, legolas uh yeah legolas and again more soft goods very good this is not the only one that was announced for the lord of, lord of the rings we also have uh what's this guys uh arangor uh arangor he also looks good people are saying that he and legolas look the best uh, and honestly, I can't blame them. He actually looks pretty decent. I really like it. Again, soft goods with the pretty decent articulation from the looks of it as well. And of course, we have over here uh, Frodo and Gollum. Uh, Gollum seems to be in a fixed pose, which makes the most sense. But Frodo, people are not really liking it as well. Um, people are saying that he doesn't look exactly like the actor. And I kind of agree, especially from these angles for the pictures that we have especially the closer look in here does not necessarily look perfect but i think it looks decent nonetheless and i don't think there's that many articulated figures for lord of the rings especially in this close-up he does not look anything like the actual actor but i don't think there's enough like close-ups or like enough articulated figures for lord of the rings so i think this is a nice sort of like entry point for those that are a fan of the movies haven't really seen them i've seen a couple of clips Again, not too much of a movie goer myself, so that's why I kind of skip on a lot of these. <laughs> uh, but uh, sort of continuing the trend of the movies, uh, we do have the police story Jackie Chan, which honestly looks nice. Just a regular Jackie Chan figure. Um, there are more display pictures in the actual display booths that they have these guys going on. So again, looks fine. It looks like Jackie Chan, especially in her, his early years, he has looked the same for a very long time, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but sort of continuing on, we also have the Gintama figure that was announced by, um, well, Gintama, uh, Saka uh, Sakata right here. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry, I am. it is late at night. So he looks good, still more information to be released later down the line. Figures about uh, Ultraman with the alien Hipporit looks pretty nice i actually kind of like the design of it probably not something i'll get because i'm not too familiarized with ultraman from this era more so the recent ultraman from um ultraman uprising uh for those that are interested we have inui Tukuma, uh, takumaki uh, takumi from so i think these this is from the common writer so more common writer figures very nice honestly uh i know there's a big love for that type of series very much Super Sentai-esque. And of course, we have the Shinkocho Seo uh, line that the Red Ranger, or the Sentai Ranger that I reviewed a couple of months ago, comes from. This one looks pretty nice. I actually really do like his design, so it might be one that I get, but I'm not entirely sure. It does look like it has a lot of good articulation, so that is nice. And a lot of accessories right here, especially with those hands very nice how they do that and of course 
uh, sort of moving on to something that was kind of unexpected by others. Oh wait, beforehand, uh, we also have sort of like animated Lord of the Rings figures. This one is a really nice design that I actually might get. So if you guys want to see reviews of this guy as well, he looks really nice. So they might not be figures that go directly into my collection, but these look really nice. I really like the appeal of these figures. These are from the Lord of the Rings, the War of the Roarin, uh, Roarin, Roarin. Yes. Uh, so again, these look amazing. So more Lord of the Ring figures, more animated side very anime like and I like them they look really nice I definitely might get them actually so especially the female character she looks really nice I really like the design very simple but very appealing uh, and then of course the guy looks amazing too so would be a really good pair in my opinion uh, but something that was unexpected more berserk figures and these look amazing especially this with the cloth my god they have learned so much Hopefully they do like re-releases and refixes or re-sculpts of the previous figures as well. But one can dream. This might actually get me to start collecting the Berserk figures and also read Berserk. I know it's a very depressing story and I'm definitely prepared for that. So for sure, might actually be into it. Uh, but sort of continuing on, what is something that I haven't covered here in this section? Everything seems to be fine. There's a new Luffy. I'll probably make a video about this, sort of giving my complaints about it. But uh, sort of continuing down here, we have more sort of common Rider stuff. Looks really nice. I like all the different sorts. Very good. This one from the protagonist from Metaphor. Very brand new game that came out. New figures announced. Like that. Very good. And then the, the figure arts zero line. So here with more one piece uh, stuff. Very, very nice. And here we have Blackbeard. Is this Blackbeard? I, I, is this Blackbeard? Is, is, is this what they call Blackbeard? Uh, wait, is this Blackbeard? <laughs> wait, uh, one piece. Blackbeard. It is. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. I did not know. So people are saying that they, we might get the other ones, especially like Buggy uh, being next. I do know who Buggy is. But this guy looks nice. I, I saw the price tag. He's like $200. So very much in the Kaido era or terms in terms of the price. He looks really nice. We have soft goods for this guy too. So amazing already. Very, very nice. More Super Sentai things. This one might definitely be a go-to thing to actually get. Hopefully we get more of like, I'm gonna be using the American terms here, the um, Dino Thunder, SPD, uh, Ninja Storm, any of those Red Rangers, please give them to me. I'm definitely excited to sort of start collecting my Red Rangers. I've always been a Red Ranger fan and I would love to have a bunch of those figures just in my collection. If this guy is as good as the previous one, which seems to be like the case, especially with the mold and everything, he's gonna be great. So definitely something I'll be adding later down the line. And we have a couple more actually. So uh, more, uh, this is what, what is this? Uh, what, 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 what is this? Uh, I don't know what this is, but this looks nice. Uh, Super Sentai, I don't know. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm definitely wrong. Uh, so again, very nicely looking, a lot of gold paint, so soft goods. That's something I've seen a lot, soft goods for pretty much every single big release of this besides Rengoku. <laughs> so again, something to complain about for sure. Uh, more common Rider stuff, so again, very nicely looking. I like the colors, two, two, oh, two different figures. Okay, there's two different figures. And finally, to some SH Monster Arts, we have more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with the Stardust Dragon. I'm not at all familiar with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but this one looks nice. And if it's as good as pretty much every single SH Monster Arts from the Yu-Gi-Oh line has been, then it's going to be perfect. So, yeah. And at least right now for last but not least we have the announcement of the sh monster arts gamera 2 attack of legion legion will be joining 
the display at Akihabara uh, in November 15th. So this weekend in just two days or even like less than 48 hours right now. From this picture, it looks really great. And from what we've gotten from Gamera, Gamera has gotten really good figures because the actual um, creator is like on top of it as well. So if this figure is anything good, especially with the height and size compared to Gamera himself, we're in good hands. But that's pretty much it in terms of all of the actual announcements. Let me refresh real quick to see if we got anything else. Uh, it does not look like it. We just have the Tamashi Nations 2024 display. Uh, so the public display will be starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. actually. So it's already um, the 14th over in Japan. So it makes sense. But yeah, honestly, very good announcements. Very excited for a lot of them. Uh, most excited about the Spider-Verse figures and the Berserk figures and also the Demon Slayer figures. Uh, there are definitely some that I'm probably going to be getting uh, just as like my own collection and maybe to sort of just do a review. Uh, but definitely expect a review on Regan Goku, even the Luffy over here. And also uh, Noir and the other Demon Slayer and even Berserk figures at this point. But yeah, that is all that we have here for right now. Let me know what you guys think so far about these announcements. Are you excited for anything in this list? If you are, let me know because I would definitely be interested in knowing. And I know how you, you guys have your wallets being eaten out by the Bandai at this point. Uh, but yeah, that is all the time I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about all of these figure announcements. Very many figure announcements right now. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. All right. So last thing. Apparently, the SH Figure Arts Blade of Michaela Melania, uh, Melena, Melania, Melania. Uh, is actually still in development for the SH Figure Arts line. This has been like MIA for the longest time at this point, but I'm very excited about this one, uh, especially since like we had no information whatsoever, but this is coming straight from Ami Ami Global right here. Very excited about this figure. Definitely going to be getting it, especially if I haven't even played Elden Ring, but I really love this design and I'm definitely going to be getting this the moment it goes on pre-order and i'm super excited let me know what you guys think about this uh again just adding this little tidbit to the very end of the video so if you stuck around this thing is pretty much the most exciting one in my opinion i've been excited about this for ever since she was announced even just displayed the first time around so now i have hopes that she's going to be released any uh, sometime soon as well so yeah there you go bye